Hey, my name is Helen Onik. Thanks for coming to Mind Hacks. Today we're going to be exploring the concept of the unconsciousness. And to illustrate how this works, I'm going to be telling you a story. Bobby jumped into his truck to start his day. He was off on his way to work, but he bent to stop at a post office. However, at a key intersection, he turned right towards his work, Big Tony's Pizza, instead of turning left towards the post office. At that moment, Bobby's autopilot unconsciousness was at work. Already late and pissed off, Bobby consciously said fuck it and took an illegal U-turn at a light. Then all of a sudden, blue and red lights came storming out of nowhere right behind him. Isn't that weird how police never make us feel safe, just nervous? Get out of the car, the officer says. Some of us would consciously obey the officer while others would press the gas and start doing 80. But the same ones with less to lose step out of the car and instinctively stand about four feet from the officer. No more, no less. It's like the unspoken rule in American interpersonal interactions between strangers. We automatically adjust four feet span unless the officer gets in front of our space. Hey, thus making us very uncomfortable. But if you notice with our friends and partners, personal distance is reduced to two and a half feet unless we need to get some air. <gasps> so with the police officer now drilling Bobby, Bobby's conscious mind begins calculating an optimal excuse while his unconsciousness easily fills in the nouns and verbs to express a plea that is grammatically correct. When put into the light, the unconsciousness seems very prevalent, but to what extent does the unconsciousness affect our conscious actions? Does the unconsciousness affect which house I'll buy? Which babysitter I'll pick to look after baby junior? Do traumatic experiences affect our consciousness? Or even does the unconsciousness guide us to loving certain types of people, certain types of gender? These are all very important questions, but here's two mind-bending scientific studies I'll leave you with today. One day at a movie theater, scientists gave away free tubs of popcorn of different sizes and different qualities. Some popcorn was fresh and buttery while the other free popcorn was stale, soggy, and not as good. The moviegoers either received a free large tub or a small tub of popcorn of different quality. The question was, what will have a greater influence on the amount of popcorn that the customers eat? Is it the taste of the popcorn or the amount, the size of the popcorn tub that were given out? The results? People decided on how much to eat based on the container size of the snack. The larger tubs increased consumption by 30 to 45 percent, meaning that you will eat more if the proportion is larger. This is an unconscious influence on us. So if you want to lose weight, consciously decrease portion size at dinner time. Another unconscious influence on us was documented at two home improvement stores. Scientists made the home improvement stores sell two exact grills at two different price tags. One price tag was marked at $240, down from $270, while the second price at a different store had a price tag of $250, down $100 from $350. Which would you buy? Well, people tended to buy the $250 price grill, even though the $240 grill was $10 less, all because of the perception that they were receiving a better deal. This is another way the unconsciousness influences us on our conscious choices. Want more on the unconsciousness and how not to be fooled? Check out this video called Unconscious Jedi Mind Tricks Marketers Pull on Us Constantly. If you want more info like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel. But in the meantime, my name is Helen and this is Mind Hacks. I hope you got your mind blown.